Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special treat for you. This is a rare, rare thing in the watch community. I mean there are rare things that you rarely see. An honest uh, content creator on YouTube is one of them, but this is not about that. The one, in my opinion, the one thing that is more rare than an honest YouTube content creator is actually a one watch guy or a girl. We don't usually see these people in our uh, in our communities. Usually when you collect watches, you want to collect more than one watch. So uh, one watch guys or girls are really rare and uh, you don't see them that often. Uh, I've strived to become a one watch guy for some time now, but I just never seem to uh, have the character enough to stop buying watches. So I'm starting to realize that I can never be a one watch guy. But my friend Rikard, that's the Swedish pronunciation, it's Richard in English, is a one watch guy. And he has found the watch that actually made him become a one watch guy. The Maurice Lacroix Akon. And he actually had a heart big enough to send his one watch guy watch to me to feature it on my channel to show it to you guys. So let's do just that. Flip the camera, take a look at the icon. Big thanks to you, Richard. And I'm gonna thank you again later in the video. But for now, let's flip the camera, take a look at the watch. Okay, my friends, back at the table, and we're gathered here today to take a look at my friend's one watch guy watch. He's just wearing this one, so this is a little more, a little more special unboxing than ever before. This is actually the one watch that my friend Richard has chosen to wear on his wrist. He doesn't wear anything else except for this watch. And that is quite special when you're a watch collector and when you're in our world of watch collecting and being just a over consuming uh, person <laughs> it's it's really rare and it's going to be really fun and exciting and cool and everything to see what this Maurice Lacroix is all about because I've always wanted to, uh, not always, but in, in recent years, I've wanted to become a one watch guy, but I just don't think that I have it in me. And this is special. Oh, Maurice Lacroix, Manufacture Horlogerie Suisse. I think that means that it's a Swiss watch manufacturer. Nice little cardboard box, feels heavy, weighty. Let's open it up. And then we have the classic box within the box but this is a nice material this is some kind of I think this is plastic yeah plastic but it has oh that's a motorcycle plastic with some matte black finishing and the nice M there you can see that it's it's actually stamped the brand it has some texture to it and uh, yeah the bottom we have that soft cloth there to keep it in place just put it to the side to see what we have in the box and at the bottom here we have the user manual and the international warranty card I guess user manual no warranty card maybe Richard is uh, keeping that at home or maybe it doesn't come with a warranty card I do not know because I've never experienced a Maurice Lacroix before Lacroix but I'm going to experience one today. Let's open it up. Oh, 
and we have a, a something here thank you for all your entertaining videos from Richard a little gift I mean come on Richard you didn't have to ooh, sneak peek you didn't have to give me a gift I mean this is a, this is gift enough for you lending me your one watch guy watch to have and to experience on the what is this it's a gift card yeah it's a gift card come on Richard thank you so much you didn't have to do 250 Swedish crowns this is really generous my friend you did not have to do this but I'm, I'm, I appreciate it thank you so much this is just <laughs> I don't know what to say I'm at a loss for words here it's uh, <laughs> really nice thank you so much you didn't have to I mean you're doing me a favor my friend I'm, uh, I'm not doing you a favor sure you get to see the watch on my channel but I actually get to experience uh, Maurice Lacroix without buying it for myself so thank you twice my friend thank you twice what a classy guy thank you so much Richard I'm hoping that uh, ooh, the wind did pick up there this is not the optimal day for shooting this video so I see I'm gonna see if I have to do this again because this, the wind is really horrible but I only have two days on me to do this and I have to send the watch back because he's a one watch guy he misses his one watch here it is the watch itself nothing more in the box resting on a nice little pillow here I'm gonna put that aside and this is without me even checking this out this is the Maurice Lacroix icon I think it's pronounced like that one like that and this is their top selling flagship model the icon and I, I did some uh, some reading the brand Maurice Lacroix actually launched in 1975 so they've been around for a while and the icon launched in 2016 and it is their biggest success as of to date uh, it's a two-tone icon looking really good let me just pull out that nice golden crown there so that we can see the branding let's put the hour and the minute hand at the classic it's a screw down crown winding feels super smooth see if we can get that second hand ticking there it goes let's see if we can move the hands out of the way actually just one hand it was just a minute hand there put it at a classical yeah, quarter to two looks pretty good doesn't it screw back screw the crown back in place and there we have that beautiful beautiful dial you see that it has some pattern to it it's like a honeycomb pattern or something it's uh, really nice gives that dial some depth and some detail Maurice Lacroix written just below the 12 with that nice little M logo date at the 3 o'clock then we have automatic and Swiss made above 6 and on both sides of the 6 o'clock classy not, I mean not too much not too little really liking the logo there and the logo is actually applied that is not a just a uh, not a painted logo it's it's really an applied little M I'm curious to know if this is real gold or if it's gold plating or just gold colored and then we have the wind again sorry for that take a look at the sides here we have a lot of contrasts here we have polishing we have brushing we have polishing again looking beautiful uh, and we have the side you see it's brushed and then it's polished on top and then on that bezel we have brushing on the top we have polishing on the sides we have brushing right there where the where the bezel meets the uh, actual watch case beautiful it really plays with the light and it plays with my eyes actually brushing polishing a lot of uh, different surfaces on this one uh, I wish it was a little more sunny today because I think that this bracelet would play with the Sun really nice and it actually does even now we have a stamped crown with that M Maurice Lacroix logo there is this a I don't think it's a turning bezel but let's see no it's a fixed bezel I thought so as well let's look at the clasp here nice little details on the gnarling there I think it's called that on the 
brushed pattern there. It's a butterfly clasp with the Maurice M there, this way. <laughs> it's a W that way, this way. It actually it reminds me when you turn it like this. It reminds me of the, isn't that a t t tennis brand called? Uh, uh, what am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for, and it doesn't matter at all. Butterfly clasp, nice details on that butterfly. Let's check out the open case back here. If my camera could just focus, there we have it. Yeah, it's the icon, stainless steel. Yeah, Swiss made, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Taking away that rotor with the M is also beautiful. I like it when they do some customizations on the rotors there. 26 jewels, Swiss made. Yeah, it's a nice watch. And we have a cool little, what seems to be, <coughs> let me just zoom in here for a little second. Seems to be we have a cool little system for removing the clasp there. You see those uh, two pins? I guess you just press them together. And it's a really cool detail that they actually printed the Maurice M on those as well. My guess is you just push them together and you remove the actual bracelet. I love it when companies give you that option to easily remove a bracelet so you can have your watch on different options. But I will say, no, hey, I thought this was a integrated clasp, but it's, how does this work actually? Um, Richard said that I could uh, size the watch up for my wrist and so that I could show it to you on my wrist. But I usually don't do that with watches that I have borrowed because I don't want to mess them up. I don't want to have, I don't want to add even a tiny little scratch because that would make me feel horrible and I don't want to risk that. And I'm not that, I'm, I'm kind of a clumsy guy sometimes. So I don't want to risk it. But I, I don't think he would mind if I just tried out this, uh, see what happens if I press those two together. Does it release the bracelet? Let's see. I'm gonna have a hard time doing this in camera, but I'll do my best. Press them together like that, and voila! It removed the bracelet so easily. I mean, look at that. So, ah, this system is one of the coolest systems I've ever seen on a watch to remove and exchange a bracelet cool so cool you just press let's see I don't want the watch to hit the table here you just press those two together and it releases the bracelet how nifty and cool and then it looks like this yeah I thought it was some kind of an integrated class but no it isn't you can actually fit a strap in there I don't know what the lug width would be it's kind of a narrow lug width is it 18 it can't be 20 I don't know, but you can still, you can do something with this. Uh, this watch just uh, stepped up in my eyes. <laughs> it just stepped up. This little, little detail, let me see if I can push it back in. Little detail just made the brand even better. So my first impressions are really good. Uh, I mean, the heft of the watch and the, the look of the finishing was all fine and good. But this little function here made it step up one step above the wrist let's see if i can try it on my wrist here i don't know if i have to adjust the clasp to put it on but i don't think so i'm wearing the seiko speed timer today S take it off my wrists are 20 centimeters let's see if we can put this icon on y yeah we can let's remove this ah horrible looking sweater and there we have it butterfly clasp Put it on like that and like that and there oh it's actually a really good fit a really nice fit i don't know if i could uh, i actually don't think that i could even remove one link here to make it fit my wrist this is a perfect fit on my 20 centimeters wrist uh, so I don't know what you would if if this is the complete if this is the whole bracelet if he hasn't taken off any links and have uh, have them at home if this is the whole bracelet I don't know don't know what you would have done if you have uh, if you have wrists that are larger than 20 centimeters in circumference but this is 
uh, this is it on my wrist 20 centimeters I'm saying it again the third time and it fits perfectly I don't think we have any micro adjustments on this one no possibilities to micro adjust the watch whatsoever no there are none but the cool thing is that if you want to remove it we have bigger uh, links and then we have half links so you could get a good fit but if you have a larger wrist than 20 centimeters across I guess you're gonna have to talk to the the AD where you buy the watch and get them fixed get that fixed for you feels great on the wrist slim it's actually a beautiful watch Richard Damn it, I don't want to have more watches to need to buy. But this is a its a good thing that, that I'm not a two-toned fan. I was in the past with my Breitling uh, Chronomat Evolution. Uh, really loved that watch and that was a two-tone watch. At least the watch case was two-toned, the bracelet wasn't. But this feels really good if it was in uh, and the icon comes in a lot of different shapes and models so uh, uh, this in just steel would be something that I actually would be interested in buying because it feels really comfortable on the wrist I don't know if that comfortability shines through in the video but such a nice and beautiful white dial I would say that maybe it's not the most legible watch because that white dial uh, makes those golden hour markers disappear sometimes but I mean come on you're honestly be honest to yourself you're mostly using your phone to check the time anyway and the watch is mostly used as a jewelry on our, on our wrists and it's a beautiful jewelry jewelry at that but I'm liking this watch it looks splendid I'm really liking that white dial and I'm liking that they color matched the date wheel as well uh, and I'm liking the classy look of the watch but still it's it's classy I don't know how to put this it's classy because it's kind of a minimalistic but then it has some attitude with the two-tone and with that waffled dial and uh, with the gold and yeah with the angular style of the whole watch case and the bracelet it gives you that this is not the right thing to say in in these days but it gives you that masculine look it's not soft it's just mm, it, it has some power behind it but yet again it's classy and stylish and you could probably wear this watch at any occasion anytime anywhere with every any type of clothing if you want to dress it up with a suit have it on a wedding if you want to wear it on the tennis court uh, because they actually uh, I don't know if to do it uh, today but Maurice Lacroix are actually quite proud of uh, sponsoring uh, Roger Federer I think it was or was it Djokovic some tennis player I read it on their website they, they sponsor, sponsored one of the world's best tennis players great watch uh, I don't know what I have to say about it more I've already said enough Let's head back to the to me again for the conclusion thoughts. Final thoughts on the Maurice Lacroix. Lacroix. Let's go. So once again, Ricard, thank you so much for the watch and for the very generous gift. You didn't have to do that, man. The least you can do, guys, is follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna link his account right here. Please follow him. He's such a stand-up guy, a great guy. I feel, I mean, my heart is so warm for all the support you guys have given me through the years. And thank you, Richard. This warms my heart even more. So follow him on Instagram. Do him a favor. Do me a favor. Uh, because it's thanks to my friends that we're able to make these kinds of videos. I never would have bought a Maurice Lacroix for myself. So it's Richard is the only reason that it is on my channel today but after seeing it in the flesh after feeling it in my hands I might just buy myself a Maurice Lacroix someday because it is a great watch I mean you can feel the quality all through the watch and uh, yeah it's a stunning watch stunning to look at I wouldn't go for the two-tone version myself I'm not a two-tone type of guy I would have chosen the all steel one maybe with the blue dial that's a beautiful uh, version of the watch but still you opened up my eyes for the brand uh, Ricard thank you very much for that Hope you liked the video, my friends. If you did, as usual, please consider giving it a thumbs up. 
If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, tell me what you didn't like, and I'll try to do better till the next video. And of course, if you loved the video, please consider subscribing, that really means a lot to me. And as I always say, hope you have a great day, my friends. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,